Well, good morning, everyone. Got a travel day today. I hope my back makes it. Golly, it's dark. Oh, that's a cool effect. Look at that light. <laughs> now, we got a travel day today. Got to go up into the northern part of Missouri, a little town called Malta Bend. Gonna just see some friends. Just go up there for the day, then come back tomorrow. So, let's get on the road. Well, I'm not going to show you the whole trip. That would really be boring. I did capture a cool lightning strike, though. Woo! And our hotel was in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by cornfields. We went to a wedding reception for this lady that we've known since she was four or five years old. Now she's 20, 21 all grown up, gotten married. So we went to the reception and met up with some old friends, her parents and other people we know in that area. Kind of like a neat little reunion. I didn't video any of the reception out of, you know, respect for their privacy. Well, I'm back home now. It's July 1st. July 1st is when I get to be a little kid for a couple days. In my little town, shooting off fireworks is legal from July 1st through the 5th, 11 a.m. in the morning till 11 p.m. at night. I've been getting some comments on my sparkler bomb video, and so it's kind of motivated me. Hey, I'm going to try to make sparkler bombs this year. All the sparklers that I've found around in my area just haven't worked, so I kind of gave up on them two or three years ago. But while I was traveling in Missouri, I thought, Hey, let's try these little stands here. So I stopped at a roadside stand and hey, they had some sparklers that I've never seen. So I'm going to give those a try. Well, I hope they work. So I'm going to try videoing and setting them off at 11 o'clock this morning. Okay, here's the two sparkler bombs I'm going to try. I got four boxes, which equals, I think it'd be 24 sparklers in each one. These are metal sparklers. I wrap them up, I fold the metal ends over, and I tape them all up. There's one roll of tape on here. Here's the normal way of doing it. You use a sparkler as a wick. So you have one sparkler going in there, and it's down here into the middle. So when it lights up, it'll go in there, it'll start the other ones. And then with the tape compressing it, it should explode. This one here, I use normal fireworks wick, or fuse, and I got it running probably about down to here, and I've never done this, but I'll give that there a try too. My major problem with these is when it lights right here, it doesn't blow up. This takes off like a missile. So I've got some blocks over here. What I've done is I put this block here. I'm gonna lay the I'm gonna lay the sparkler bomb in here, and I got this block here that if it wants to take off it'll hit there. Then I'm going to set this brick on top of it. That way, in case for some reason it gets wobbling around in here and wants to take off, hopefully this block here will help hold it in. Well, it's close to 11 o'clock, but I'm going to abide by the rules. Well, it's 11 o'clock.
dud. Let's try the other one. Well, those were duds. What a way to start out the fourth with duds. We got to go find more sparklers. Well, I need something that goes boom. So I'm going to do this because I know this goes boom. Let's see if I can't capture it. That went boom. Well, I'm going to call it quits here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I got more coming. I'm going to try to video all my fireworks this year. So hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And if you want notifications, ring that bell. And like always...